All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, so today, I'm home from my recent trip. We went and picked up a new topper for the Ford, if you guys can see that back there. And uh, today, what we're gonna do is, I wanna take some measurements, hold on. And get myself a tight measure. We're gonna take measurements and see how these toppers compare, because I know that the one on this Ford is taller. And, uh, we're also going to see if we can remove the window tint off the Ford. Um, I know a lot of you guys in the last video were like uh, telling me to just spray the tracks because the windows don't slide very well, but I want that window tint off. It's way too dark. These windows do have factory tint, so it'll be fine. It'll look just like the Silverado here. It's a little bit lighter, but all the windows are tinted. So if you're new here, this is my old rig and the motor is blown blah 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 um but i want to take some measurements you know what the height of this is because i know the walls on this new one are taller uh and we can do a width and length but that's going to be roughly the same uh and then we'll see because this belt is this because this bed is built just to go over the wheel wells we'll see if this fits in the back of here uh compared to this cot which is super tall but this is what i took to go pick it up so uh, i'm actually gonna grab my step stool out of here and we'll probably start on this one keep myself up in this thing. well i haven't been in here in so long that the glue on my lights gave up and fell down from six months of sitting in the driveway here. But if you watch the last video, you can see, now I'm sitting on here and I can basically sit up, but that other one is way taller. So let's just start with the height measurement. Um, so these toppers, like, I don't know how well you can tell in the video, but they come down a little bit in the middle. There's like a reinforced section in here. So we'll just do the measurement from like the middle of the wheel well, which is right in front of me, and then the middle of the truck. And uh, that should be relatively good. Um, the bed rug does, I think, add like three quarters of an inch to the floor here, but we will be upgrading that truck shortly with the bed rug. So this looks like, we'll just call it 44 inches. So I have 44 inches of headroom in here. Um, I guess we'll do a, we'll just do a width and we'll go from right under the window and we'll go right over the wheel well. So the same spot. We'll call that 70, 70 inches even, maybe 70 and a half. So we've got 44 and 70. Length is negligible, uh, but we can check that when we're done here. But yeah, let's go see what that one measures out as. So we're going to do the measurement in the same spot right over the wheel well i do have this piece of carpet or it's a it's a moving blanket on the floor so there's a little bit of difference here but as you can see i'm sitting way up high over the wheel well and uh i bet i measured it the other one was 44. i bet we have close to 50 if not 50. 48. 48. so we've got a full four inches four inches can make a big difference to tell you what so with the carpet in here uh like an actual bed rug because i think i'm pushed down in between one of the ribs we're probably looking at 47 would probably be about accurate so we've got a little bit more headroom i knew there would be um, and then let's try right over the wheel well side to side what did i say it was 70 in the old one I think that's probably going to be pretty similar. So 
71 so pretty close and that's on the edges um, if you can see like right here this edge is wider than in that truck the bed rails are wider just like the top of the tailgate is wider uh, so that is a middle measurement I think if you go up here it's a little bit taller maybe but that's a good good spot to measure um, so it is a little bit bigger do I want to why don't we why don't we see if we can make that other bed fit actually I should probably just measure the wheel well instead of doing all that stuff uh, to see if it'll fit over the wheel well here Ten, 10 or 11 inches prior to the top I don't think that bed is going to fit but let's see what that height is this looks way too short no we're at 8 eight and three quarter off the carpet so that's not going to fit over the wheel well i was really hoping uh, i was really hoping i could make that fit just for a couple of days because i am waiting on parts for the truck before i start building anything out we've got we got some stuff in the mail uh, so that's a bummer because i wanted a lower bed for the next couple of camping trips but we're going to tackle this tent so you can see how dark that is and you can see that's still got tint on it but it's not quite as dark you can see in and out uh, we'll just go over here you can you can see in there now because the back window on that one is open and it's about the same like uh, I just don't need it that dark I don't want it that dark so I've never pulled tint off before. I have watched a few YouTube videos, so I am now an expert on the topic, right? Uh, but we're just gonna start peeling it off. It might be difficult once we, because once we get inside here, this shouldn't be bad, but these sliding windows, I believe it's also down in the track there. And uh, we've got a screen here, so I don't want to pull the screens, but we can, and we can just reinstall them or cut new ones. I do have screen material in the garage. I just don't want to have to do that. So this panel is going to be the hardest one to take, to remove here. Uh, this one isn't tinted, so we'll see. So we'll see what we can make happen. We're just going to start on the back here. Well, it's probably going to be hard to see me. Maybe I should close that tailgate up. see me now yeah it's much darker in here which is kind of nice but it's too dark like if this was I think this is 5% tint that he overlaid over the stock factory uh, smoked glass if that was like 20 maybe even 40 since you're double double layering it uh, it wouldn't be as bad but we'll see so got the old garage hair dryer We'll see, we'll probably need this, dude. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we've got some Windex to try to like clean it off. Uh, paper towels and a pack of razor blades. Um, it's not exactly cold out, but uh, it's like 65 today and windy. So I don't know, we'll just see what we can do here. As you can probably see, maybe there is a, a damage right here on the tent. 
So, I don't know, we're just gonna see if we can start peeling it down. There's, it kinda sucks because I can't roll a window down to get this started. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little heat onto it and see what we can do here. Haven't used this thing in a while. Maybe it doesn't work anymore. Okay, we don't currently have a hair dryer. Tight. This might not go well. Who knows, maybe I blew a breaker in the garage, but I'm hoping since this tent has really only been on here for like a year, uh, that it's somewhat easy to remove, but I don't have a lot of confidence, y'all. We almost had it in one shot. It did leave some sticky stuff on the window, but I think we'll be fine with the Windex. Everything says the Windex will take it right off with a razor blade and whatnot. Boom so much nicer and it's probably hard to tell but it is still it's still tinted oh come on don't get away from me trying to get too much of this on my bed Let that marinate for a couple seconds. Came off a lot easier than I thought it would. Totally cool. The side windows are definitely gonna be a pain, but we'll see what we can do. I guess while we're letting that sit, why don't we try to start on these other windows? got the three easiest pieces off of here um, there's not a ton of sticky stuff on here but yeah it's gonna take a little bit of removal let's see what this back window is like
the gunk is coming right off. gonna take a while this is gonna be a little bit of a tedious process but but it's just coming right off of there well, I'm gonna keep working on this I don't know if you guys can see there you go maybe so there's a little bit of like glue and stuff that's coming off of there so we'll go through and scrape the rest of this off and I'll get these other two windows cleaned also and I'll get back to you guys and we'll see if we can get the tent off of this guy the trick is to keep it damp and that's all glue keep it damp as you're scraping it'll come right off So I got all the glue off the side window. I uh, still got to pull this tint off. So those are all taken care of. All the glue is off the back window, but I thought I'd show you guys. There you go. How much of a difference can you actually tell from right here? Not much, because it's still tinted. Now keep in mind, we've got the back glass open there and there is a reflection, but like it's definitely darker if you look towards the back, but it's still tinted, like, it still looks just fine. Try this side, can't get super close and it's kind of dirty, but yeah, you can't really even tell that much from the outside at a glance. Uh, like you can't look into it with the 5% when it was all around, but it's fine. Uh, I prefer to be able to see out. It's so much nicer in here to be able to look out and see things. You know what I mean? If you can't tell. So I guess we got to try to pull this tint off. The problem is one, I can't get the window open all the way. Maybe if I spray some of this Windex in the track or something, but it's going to stop like right here. So I'm not going to be able to get to the end of this dude. I don't know how the guy put it on there. This is not removable riveted in so the only thing you could do is close this I think and pull the screen out man I can't even close it dude no. if you had it closed all the way and you pulled the screens that would honestly be the easiest part or the easiest way to do it but we're gonna see if we can do it with the windows open uh, if I gotta pull the screens I'll pull the screens Like it's barely in the track, at least on the bottom. Where'd my razor blade go? There's a razor blade hack for you if you don't have like a little thing. I don't have one. Ooh, it might be deeper in the track as it goes down towards this end, but. I think honestly, if you spray Windex on the tent, and then like let it sit for a while. It's supposed to help a bit, but. All right, so I'm still working on this one. The top sucks. Uh, there's definitely some stuck in the track. The bottom was trimmed all right. I was able to get this window all the way open. So the only thing that hangs off the edge is just this and it's starting to come off. Look. There we go. Can we get all of it? We did. But you can see how it's kind of, like you can see what was in the track. Come on, all of this, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn. <laughs> I've got stuff in the track on the top about that far. 
but we got it off. All right, I'm gonna see, I got Windex in my eye. See if I can get that top junk off and move on to the next side. Well, this passenger side, or I guess this is the driver's side, came off way easier. I don't think I left anything in the track on the top. I got everything out of the passenger side one. We're just scraping off the glue. I ran out of Windex, so I'm using Rain-X. It's not quite as effective in my opinion. I think the Windex does better, but if you keep it wet, like I said, it just peels, it just comes right off. The only thing is I can't reach the very tip of this window, these side windows, but I'm not worried about it right now. If they get super dirty, I can just peel out this little section of the screen and clean that, but for now I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just happy to have this really dark tint off. All right, there we are. We're all cleaned off of this one still is a little bit hard to push open and close um, but I'll go ahead and I'll do the I'll get some stuff for the tracks here and kind of grease those up or whatever um, graphite I don't remember you guys suggested a lot of stuff on the last video uh, there I mean there's still a little bit of cleaning up I could do on there but why don't I heave myself out of this thing close the back up so you guys can kind of see what we're looking at here closed. I've obviously got a lot of cleaning up to do in there, but you guys can see it's still well tinted. We got a lot of crap on the lens. It's still tinted just fine. You can't you can't really see i mean you can see through it now but it's not it's not like it's just bare glass um, so i'm stoked to have this done um, i'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up but i think on the next couple of videos we will probably be camping with the cot still since that bed won't fit um, and since I'm waiting on some parts, but we'll see how all that goes and see when stuff actually shows up. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and close this one out here. Stoked to have this thing. I need to get this old truck cleaned out and I need to get that thing hauled off to the farm. But for the time being, we're jamming on that and I can actually see out of the back window now. So if you liked it, hit the subscribe button. There's gonna be a lot more truck camping stuff coming up if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just close it out there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.